Hey, Collective. Thank y'all so much for coming to my channel, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is. I'm your girl, Bucky, and this, of course, is Sister's Tea Tarot, where we tap in with spirit and get the tea on your situation or whatever it is spirit needs for you to know at this time, Collective. All the messages here, they are general, meaning they cannot and will not resonate with each and every one of you guys. So please take what resonates with you in your story and leave the rest. Also, anything you need to know about myself or my channel collective will be in the description box below. Please utilize it if you so choose to. There is no pressure. Okay, y'all. Any music that you may hear in the background, I do not own the rights to that music. It is simply playing for us to vibe out to. So if you can hear it, go on and get your vibe on. All right, y'all. We're just going to try to gauge the energy of who is coming towards you because I feel a lot of heartbreak in the energy. <coughs> and somebody is just like, I just do not want to be alone right now. So it's like people, of course, people are going to come towards you, but we're going to try to gauge these people's true intentions so we can see if we can stop any fuckboy, fuckgirl energy before it tries to even penetrate ours. All right, y'all, we're going to tap in. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, who is coming toward the collective? Who is coming toward the collective? Who is coming toward the collective, Holy Spirit? Let's see here, y'all. Thank y'all for being here again. Allow me to read for y'all. Holy Spirit, who's coming toward our collective? Who's coming toward the collective? Well, damn, everybody, because my whole dick wanted to fall out. <laughs> mm. Yeah, some of y'all got a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo coming toward y'all, preferably a Virgo. Yeah, this is going to be a soulmate. It's a two of cups situation coming toward a lot of y'all. But you know what? I'm going to say this. <clears throat> you single, right? And some of y'all want love. How you gonna have, find love sitting in the house all day by yourself? Not inviting nobody over, not going nowhere, not talking to nobody, just straight in hermit mode. Some of y'all could even be Virgos in a water sign coming towards y'all or vice versa. But how you plan on doing that? You very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, four swords. Staying at home, just chilling all day with the damn dogs. Cats, whatever kind of pets you got. <laughs> yeah, because some of y'all are completely giving up on love because you had your heart broken or put in a third-party situation here. Yeah, look, four ones is in the reverse. It was like some commitment here didn't work out. And I, a lot of y'all are just in hermit mode at this point. Yeah, but it's time to take action. Get back out there. Put yourself back out there, collective. Because like I said, you do have somebody coming back in towards you. Let's get on this person. Holy Spirit, what is the two of cups? What is the two of cups? Who is the two of cups? Yeah, whatever this is, you're going to have a, Some of y'all got a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming towards you. Or you are one. Yeah, this whatever is coming towards you or whoever this is. This situation is going to be very successful, but it's going to call. You're going to have to put your defenses down. Don't be so defensive against uh, this person. It's like you so quick to cut people off because you feel like you better off being single, whoever it is I'm speaking to, because you don't went through so much shit in the past. Yeah, seven of ones, five of pentacles, the fool in the world. Some of y'all tired of all the fussing and the fighting that come along with a relationship, so you would just rather stay single. A lot of y'all left a, a a lot of y'all went through seeing your parents do this shit at home and you vowed that you would never put yourself or your kids through this. And that's why a lot of y'all are just deciding to just like not choose to deal with, you know, the two of cups situation. Yeah, we have uh Queen of Swans coming out, Aries Leo Sagittarius as well. So there's definitely fire up in the building as well as air and earth. Yeah, now water as well, two of cups and the page of cups. Yeah, some of y'all think this shit ain't even worth y'all time. Y'all feel like people just want to play mind games with you and nobody is actually serious about anything. Mm -hmm. But whoever this person is, they want, they, they want to be victorious with you. But see, the thing is, they could already be attached to someone, but they don't like this person. <laughs> It's like this person really get on their nerves because whoever this person is, she a real bitch. All she do is bitch and complain all the time. Want recognition where there is no reason for it. She expect to be victorious when she ain't even did shit. She want people to just dote on her. Yeah, this person could be very beautiful as well. 
But this person, they act a fool a lot. And whoever is coming towards you, they sick of that shit. Yeah, this person likes to, like, this person is, whoever they with now is very confrontational. And this person is the exact opposite. This person is very, very loving. Very family oriented. So you gotta, hmm. Yeah, seven of swords. This person has been cheated on and lied to in the past. So they might be just as defensive towards you as you are toward them. Yeah, air sign here again. Yeah, so it's looking like y'all got a major decision to make coming up to a one. Yeah, about this lover situation because a lot of y'all, yeah, a lot of y'all got somebody coming towards you. Either you are a Leo or this person is. But I'm telling you, this is it's happiness attached to whoever this is. Yeah, Ten of Cups, this is a person you can build a family with. Some of y'all, y'all gonna be meeting the person that you will have a family with. Yeah, some of y'all met this person on the internet possibly, exchanging messages and everything. Yeah, a lot of communication with this person. Lots and lots and lots. This person makes you feel emotional where you thought you, they make you, feel, thank you, Holy Spirit. This person make you feel feelings that you thought you would never feel again. Yeah, cancer energy popping out with the chariot. Yeah, this person, they, they want to move forward with you. It's like you sit up and you talk to this person and both of y'all just sitting on the phone just smiling and shit. Yeah. I can't wait to see you, boo. I can't wait to see you, daddy. Uh-huh. All that kind of shit. Yeah, look. Person gonna be all about you. No option. You see what I'm saying? You can't give up on love because some shit that happened to you in the past because you're gonna fuck around and miss out on something great coming up in your future. Yeah, no, this person ain't gonna have no other option but you. Yeah, look, Page of Pentacles. This person might not look like your, your usual type. You see what I'm saying? This might not be the type that you normally go for. A lot of y'all go for like the, the thinner, like built type. This might be a, a chunkier type person. And I ain't even trying to be funny because hell, I'm a chunky person myself. Shit, y'all see the arm? <laughs> Anywho, yeah, but this person is gonna want I'm here and giving you they all. Now don't 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 get it twisted. This person may not have much to give, but what they do have, they're willing to share it with you. Yeah, this person is emotionally like they're stuck on you. But like I said, this person has emotional issues of their own too, because they've gone through things in their past collective. So a lot of them feel just as stuck. When it comes to emotions, as you do, you two mirror each other. Yeah, look, ten of swords. Both of y'all feel like it's going to end the same way as it did last time. Y'all mirror each other. This is your twin that you're about to run into. Yeah, both of y'all stuck in y'all head about the hurt that y'all went through in the past. Yeah, look, y'all scared to be vulnerable and open up and show y'all emotions. But both, they're there. They are there. But nobody wants to be vulnerable because the last time that happened, boom. Ten of Swords. The Tower. See what I'm saying? It's time to do some introspection. Figure out what's going on in here so you can heal that. Figure out what's going on in here so you can heal that. Because whoever this is I'm speaking to, this is a divine connection that you're about to get into. And it's very important for you to heal yourself before this person comes into your life. Very important. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Flying out opportunity sent straight from god he'll heal you heal you first if you need professional help in order to do this ain't nobody judging you go get it shit we all know how heartbreak goes sometimes it's like you can't even get up out the bed breathe eat nothing because it hurts so bad ain't nothing wrong with getting um getting some professional help will of fortune on the bottom of the deck this coming in is going it's going to be in your favor and also that, that therapy, going to a, a, a professional, that's going to help. Yeah, ten of wands. Get out, let them burdens off. You carrying a lot of burden from whatever this past situation is. Don't carry that over into this into this new connection, uh, collector. Yeah, whoever this person is, they're very, they're very attractive, but they might not be your type. This person might even be a different race from you. So y'all keep that in mind. Yeah, I just said a different race, and look what I got. 
Yeah, this person might be a different race from you. But y'all, it's like, I'm telling you, both of y'all are very defensive against the, uh, the other one. Not because of anything that y'all have done to each other, but because of what people have done to both of y'all in the past. And y'all still carrying around these burdens. But just like you, before y'all can come into union, that person has to heal too. Y'all both have to heal. Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. It could be two earth signs coming together. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or this is a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or you or Y'all just take the energy how it resonates. Yeah, but right now I'm telling you, it's very important for you to get out your head about all this shit that happened to you in the past. All this shit. Hold back from that. Like, change your mindset. I'm telling you. A lot of y'all are just manifesting peace, trying to get grounded here. Yeah, Queen of Cups, you have so much love to give, but you choose to keep it all to yourself because you don't want to be taken advantage of again. And I can understand that. I really can. Yeah, look, you do not want your heart to be broken again. No, you'd rather put a lid on that love because you ain't going through it again. You don't care if you got to be by yourself for the rest of your life. All you need is your money. Somebody just said, all I need is my money. Yeah, look, nine of swords. All in your head. Seriously, all in your head. Come out your head, collector. Walk away from this mindset. I'm telling you, when you do, you walk right into your into your, your person. <clears throat> look what I said. You walk right into your person once you get rid of that mindset. This could even be somebody from your past. You see what I'm saying? You could have been dealing with this person before you dealt with the other person and then something happened. I don't know. But this could be somebody that you're coming back into union with. And it's going to be absolutely beautiful. But it's like both of y'all have to put those swords down. Y'all have to put them swords down. Y'all don't need to battle each other. It's not y'all that y'all need to be battling. Yeah, look, Knight of Cups. It's a lot of, it's a lot of love, a lot of romance coming your way. A lot. I see love messages and everything. Yeah, but it's imperative that you change, collective. You have got to change. <clears throat> Some of y'all, you got to let go of this past person. <clears throat> Energetically, because I don't feel that y'all are in contact. Energetically, somebody still holds on to their past person. And you got to let that go. Yeah, it could be a Scorpio here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of y'all are, I'm telling you all in your head about how this person kept like ran around on you, kept their options open, possibly put you in an actual third party situation. But it's time for you to stop thinking about that. Always think about what you want and not what you don't want because your thoughts manifest very, very quickly. The universe don't decipher between words and thoughts, y'all. So it's imperative. Stop being defensive and stop thinking about and talking about what you don't want and start speaking into existence what it is that you do want yeah page of swords i'm telling you uh, y'all are defensive see how he got that leg out he just ready to cut somebody goddamn head off somebody here got tattoo on their neck as well <clears throat> it's like all of all of this shit <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got the five of ones and then the star in the reverse. You see what I'm saying here? <clears throat> it's internal conflict within you, and you can't move past this until you work through it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can't work through it keeping your mouth closed. You gonna have to open up and talk to somebody. Stop being afraid of people judging you. Who give a fuck what these people think? You got to do what's best for you. And if you got to get some type of counseling, some type of professional help, then you do that. Mm -hmm. I see some of y'all just absolutely throwing y'all self into work to forget about this situation. <clears throat> well, this past situation. But I'm telling y'all, this new situation that's coming in, boy. Y'all ain't going to believe it. Y'all going to be like, I didn't think this kind of love really exists. 
<laughs> it does. And you about to have, especially with this Ace of Wands, it just popped out. Mm-hmm. I see something here, too. Mm-hmm. Hitting it from the back. Yeah, it's going to be very passionate there. Yep. Mm, y'all nasty. Y'all, oh, y'all nasty together, whoever this is. Y'all do y'all really doing this? I'm seeing like hitting it from the back. I'm seeing 69. Somebody is hanging upside down, Jesus. What y'all gonna be doing in this two of cups shit right here? I'm talking about love. Um passion. All kind of shit. But y'all are so defensive against each other. It is ridiculous. Look at this. You defensive against any any look. I always watch it to see if this person putting you in some type of third party situation. I always very defensive, very defensive. Man, come, come now. But I'm telling y'all, this is beautiful. The moon and the magician. I'm telling. Look, now, now shit, tap in. Somebody out here could be doing moon magic for one reason or another. I don't know. We ain't even finna get into it. But I just want y'all to know that somebody out here could be doing moon magic. Yeah, because somebody is watching you. <clears throat> so it's like you sitting over here watching this person to make sure they ain't putting you in no third party situation. They sitting over here watching you to make sure you ain't putting them in no third party situation. And then there's somebody sitting over here watching both of y'all and possibly doing magic. Lord, I give the fuck up. <laughs> Holy Spirit, you already know I gotta know. You know I gotta know. I said I wasn't going to, but I'm going to. Yeah, this... <laughs> This some unstable ass person from somebody's past. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I just heard. Oh, spirit, Lord, have mercy. I do not need to know all that about these people. Some of y'all are in the same sex relationship. Others of y'all are just straight up freaks. <laughs> This situation <clears throat> is going to be passionate. I'm telling you, y'all gonna have a lot of fun together. It's gonna be like a like a childlike relationship. It's gonna be very youthful. But I'm telling you, this could be the relationship of your dreams, collective. But you have to stop being so defensive. This person has to stop being so defensive. In every one of these cars, y'all got y'all swords up. Swords up. That's not who you are, collective. You are the empress. You are like the the, the definition of peace here. <laughs> Tranquility, shit like that. Put that sword down. I'm saying this, whoever this person coming in, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, this person here want to be like a, they want to be stable in your life. This person ain't coming to play no games with you. This person know what it feel like to be hurt and they not doing it. This person don't want to make you sad. Anything them try, that they think make you sad, they not finna do it. This person is completely focused on their empress. But see, I'm telling you, okay, King of Pentacles, somebody could have somebody already attached to them. <clears throat> and this is the sad person on the outside looking in. Yeah. We got the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, like some of y'all see, like, y'all see, y'all gonna be able to clearly see that this person wanna be with y'all. It's not gonna be no secret. It, it ain't no reason for no mystery here. It's not. I'm telling y'all right now, stop wondering because, yes, this person does wanna be with you. Like, they want longevity with you, long-term with you, collective. Could be a Leo here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I'm telling you, whoever this is, if you know them from the past and this person possibly <clears throat> moved away from you or something like that, they want to come back and you are who they want now. But I'm telling you, some of these people got somebody attached to them. But it don't matter because they don't want that person. They want you, collective. All right, y'all. So it has been real. If the video resonates, please like, comment, as well as subscribe, and we'll get back up.